Hey what's going on guys Tanmay of and in this quick short video tutorial I want to discuss the topic of scope of variables so in the previous couple of videos of this entire playlist we've known what is functions in javascript we've also seen what are variables so i thought let's discuss about the scope of variables and in javascript things are pretty easy we only have two different types of scope that is global and local so depending upon where you create the variable your variable is going to be having two different types of scope and when i say scope it means that the life of the variable okay so let me just actually show it to you so let's say you create a variable a over here you assign the value of 5 and now you want to print it so you print it on the screen using the document dot write function and now what you can do is anywhere below in this entire script you can again copy paste this and again print this variable and the value still exists right which means that this variable that you created over here is usable or is alive throughout this entire script till the very end okay so this is basically a global variable which means that its life is available throughout the entire page and throughout the entire script so what is a local variable then so when you define a variable inside a function that variable is a local variable to that function okay so let's try to do that now so we've already seen what are functions in the previous video if you don't know what functions are you can check that video so i'm just going to create a function saying function my function opening and closing around brackets and the body of the function and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this and paste it inside the function and now you can see the output we are not getting any kind of output because this a is now inside this function so now it is not a global variable it is a local variable which means that it exists only inside this function so let's cut this and let's paste this inside and let's give a function call to our newly created function so i'm going to say my function opening and closing round brackets and semicolon and now you can see again phi is printed because we are giving a call to this function these two lines inside this function is executed and variable a exists only inside this function so it is local and that's why it is printed however you can see we have one more document dot write which is outside the function but since our variable a is declared and created inside the function here the value does not exist which means that variable a outside the function does not exist it is destroyed as soon as the function is over okay and this applies to the memory also so whenever you are running your javascript and your programs your entire chrome browser itself is in the ram in it's running in the memory so these variables are also created inside the memory so these local variables are created only till the function is executing and once the function is done executing the memory of that function is wiped out so the variables are also destroyed however the variables that are global which are available throughout the script will have a global lifetime which means they will exist throughout the entire running of the application as long as your tab is open okay so another thing about global variables is you can access global variables inside functions also so let's say i create another global variable where b and i say value is 6 i can access this inside our own function also so if i say print b over here you can see my function can access this b variable which is created outside the function and you can see the value is printed as 6 which means that global variables can be accessed inside functions however local variables which are inside the function cannot be accessed outside because here you can see we are doing that we are trying to print the local variable a but the value is not being printed okay so one last thing that i wanted to talk about variables which i did not mention in the first video of variables was when you create a variable we use var keyword right however in javascript we can exclude that which means that we don't actually need to use the var keyword also and you can directly say var1 is equal to and assign the value and this is still a variable okay so you don't have to explicitly type in var but what happens is when you do this this becomes a global variable by default okay so if i cut this and if i paste this inside over here also this var1 is still a global variable because we did not use the var keyword and now it is a global variable which means you can access the value outside the function but there is a slight issue and that issue is our new browsers operate under a strict mode wherein they restrict the use of such kind of global variables okay so global variables which are created inside a function without using var keyword are not directly accessible even though they are global okay so i don't want to get into a lot of details i just wanted to talk about that you can create variables without the var keyword and still you won't get an error 
and then there is a slight difference between creating global variables inside the function and outside the function. I'll drop some info in the video description about this strict mode of browsers. You can read on it, but right now we don't need it. I just wanted to mention it. So yeah, this was a little bit about scope of variables in JavaScript. Now that we've seen the functions and variables, the scope of variables should be very clear by now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments how this video was. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.